Uh, this is A2 pure mass notes. We're on unit five and we're taking a wee look at functions. We've just run through the basics uh, with our domain range and codomain in the previous video. Now on to a few simple examples. Let's see if I can um, see what's going on here. So let's suppose a function has a set X as a domain and as such that it doubles any element of X of the domain to give the corresponding element of the range. This would be written the function x goes to 2x, or f of x equal to 2x. This is really, really, really basic stuff. It's just about defining it down and explaining what a function is. But you'd be doing this thing from year 9, really putting numbers into here and getting numbers out of here. There's not really too much more to it. It's just getting the definitions down uh, and the way we want things laid out. So clearly, for an example, if the image 2 would be 4. So 2 goes to 4 in this case, or f of 2 equals 4. And normally it's f. That's our first go-to for a function, which you'll have realised, f of x you'll have heard of a lot. Uh, but other letters such as g and h are regularly used to represent functions as well. So let's take a look at uh, a couple of examples. So draw arrow diagrams for the following functions with the domain minus 1, 0 and 1. So for part a, it says let's state the range n of each function. So our we arrow diagrams then look like this. So we're putting in minus 1, 0 and 1 and so 2x we're double that so that goes to minus 2 that goes to 0 that goes to 2 um, and our new range then in this case is minus 2 0 and 2 uh, what about the next one then for part B? Again, we're of course using the same domain, so minus 1, 0 and 1. Um, minus 1 times 3 plus 2, give it minus 2 plus 1, so it's minus 2. 0 is going to give me 1, uh, and I put in 1, I'm going to get 4. Nice and straightforward again. My range here is minus 2, 1, and 4. And my next one, I'm going to move it up here. Hopefully, you can still see it. It's h and it's x going to x squared. So we have minus 1, 0, and 1. Minus 1 squared gives me 1. 0 squared gives me 0. And 1 square gives me 1, so in this case we're going to have a um, many to 1, 0 is to 0. And that goes up to there, and again my range and in this case it's just going to be 0 and 1.